me. Isabella Marseille, Jeff in Las Vegas. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. I'm doing you? great. It's so great to talk to you about Spirit Untamed. Uh, Isabella, let's start with you. Your new character, Lucky You Voice, spending the summer with her estranged father on his ranch, but she falls for a wild horse named Spirit, but her father forbids her near horses. Why? I, I don't want to give away certain oh. plot lines, but... <laughs> Let's just say he uh, had an affinity for horses as well. And he just doesn't want her to get hurt. And horseback riding is really scary, especially when you're doing tricks and whatnot. And um, I think, you know, Lucky doesn't really know that she has kind of a passion for horseback riding until she arrives back at her hometown where she was born and rediscovers her passion through, you know, her mother's belongings and finding out her mother's past. And it's such a cute wholesome story that I feel like a lot of people can relate to. And Marseille Prue befriends Lucky, but she doesn't listen to and she gets in trouble just as well. And I mean, look what happens when you have girl power gets together, right? There's all kinds of mischief in this movie. <laughs> well, I mean, um, Prue, Prue's character, I'm, I mean, I'm happy that she actually welcomed Lucky with open arms, but I mean, like, like Isabel said, I don't want to give anything away, but I mean, the ups and downs that they have is uh, pretty crazy. But I mean, what, what, what do you expect? I mean, they're going on this uh, crazy, yet almost impossible for three young little girls uh, to go on this ride. So, I mean, um, it's, but it's, so, it's such an exciting film. And I feel like it's an amazing film, especially to um, bring the families back into the theaters. So. Definitely. And Isabella, let's talk about the Latino influence. I think it just gives such an authenticity to the West. Yeah, I mean, um, I am not Mexican, but I still feel like people who aren't even Hispanic could relate to this, especially first generation children of immigrants that arrive here or any country in general and struggle with assimilating, maybe choosing which language to embrace and um, trying to fit in in a new place. And it's it's very relatable to to anyone really. But for me, I struggled with that growing up in the States. Um, but having Spanish be my first language, it was a constant struggle or battle between choosing, you know, what am I? What am I more of? Am I not Spanish enough? Am I not, you know, United States enough? So it was just like something that Lucky goes through literally exactly in this film. And and I think it's really important to talk about. And it's something that isn't really talked about much, but is very, very common. And Marseille, take me through a typical recording session. Was it a different experience because of the pandemic or? It was a different experience. It, I feel like it was a different experience for everyone that was uh, um, working on something in the industry uh, during the pandemic. But um, yeah, I mean, we, we were filming um, Spirit in the in the studio and then the pandemic hit and then smack dead during quarantine i was filming in my closet and oh uh, i had they they brought in a mic and uh some different wires to, to connect to your own laptop and no me and my me and my mama we had to get down into the technical stuff and figure this thing out and then um when the restrictions started to loosen up then um, we eventually got back into the studio and I had to kind of redo almost most of my lines that I did in the house because, you know, quality, you know. So <laughs> um, it was it was a very unique experience. But I mean, not a lot of people can say that they uh, filmed a, a movie during the pandemic. So I'm I'm glad that I kind of got the experience in a way. And I'm grateful to actually still be working during this time. So. And Isabella, finally today, tell me about uh, directing for animation. How was the director's style? Uh, quite different considering this was actually the first female director I've ever really worked with on a feature film. So it was amazing for me. I think it was a completely different experience in the best way possible. You know, I feel as though we really connected on the emotional side of things, especially because she, she has a strong bond with her primary, you know, pet um, who's Ziggy the horse and and it was really really cool like she really took what I what I had input wise for the character and the dialogue to heart and she really applied it so I felt very involved even from the beginning it's been two and a half years in the making and it's I've never really had my fingerprint so prominent on a project 
Well, Isabella, Marseille, thank you so much for joining me today. Spirit Untamed in theaters June 4th. It's going to be great for families. Thank you so much. And let's talk again soon. Thank Thank you. you.